Morning folks, Andy here from AM Bushcraft. Hope you're having a nice day and welcome to another video. So today I want to discuss with you this pouch that I bought recently. I had it made and I'll go into that in a minute but basically it's to replace my old leather drawstring pouch that I used to have for my sort of fire type maintenance pouch. Uh, a lot of the items in it are more or less the same, a couple of things I've swapped out and some of the things I've modified. So it's a brown canvas peg pouch and it's made by a guy called Brian Chubshaw at Journeyman Handcraft and he makes some very beautiful items made from canvas or leather or wax canvas. And you, you, you may even know him, he's got a YouTube channel called Outdoor Life of Brian. And I'll, I'll leave a link to his channel and also his uh, Etsy website where he sells his equipment that he makes by himself in his workshop. So the design of this pouch comes from his peg pouch that he, he sells on his website. But I got in touch with him and asked him if he could sort of customise the order for me. The original design is it's 20 centimetres by 10 and then it's 2 centimetres deep but I got in touch with him and asked him if he can keep it the same just make it 5 centimetres deep instead so it could fit a bit more stuff inside it and he got back and says yeah that's not a problem it would, it would cost a bit more with it being a custom order and I, was, I said yep that's fine and I think in the end I ended up paying £22 for it but it is a good little pouch and I'm, I'm really happy how it's come out but we can take a look inside it now so the first thing we have is this little drawstring pouch. It used to be white a long time ago. And inside that I just keep a pan scrubber. Just for doing the dishes, makes it a bit easier. What I also have is this little char tin. And inside that I've got a few pieces of charred punk wood. It's, to be honest, my preferred method of lighting fire is put a spark into this and put it into a tinder bundle and blow it into flame. I'm not a big fan of the char cloth. I think I've mentioned it numerous times. I, just, I can't get my head around the idea of cutting your t-shirt up to then char it when you can go around the woods and get a piece of, you know, punk wood anywhere for free. Next, uh, puck of beeswax. I buy those uh, beeswax beads on eBay and melt it down and then put it into a container to let it set. I don't know if this will show up, but there's little teeth marks there. <laughs> That's from my little boy going into my cupboard where I keep all my kit and taking a or well, trying to take a bite out of it. Next we've got a stick of fat wood. I use that as my sort of emergency fire now. I used to carry this little silver screw top tin with you know uh, makeup remover pads soaked in Vaseline. But the way I started looking at it is they cost money, I have to buy them. Whereas some of the woodlands that I visit, I know a good so a good couple of sources of fat wood where I could just take a big chunk of it and process it down into sticks. Next thing is my little small folding knife. I use this for food prep mostly, or at times when I come to the wood and I don't have my big knife, I'll use it to strike my ferro rod to get the fire going. Got a small bic lighter. And a little hank of paracord. This is for bow drill. It's a sort of replacement one if the one on my bow drill breaks and what I have here is a small pencil the small pencil I suppose could come useful in certain situations if I need to write something down but to be honest it was mostly just so I had something to wrap the duct tape around and I think I've got maybe two or three meters of duct tape on this and I have it to do repairs to my tap if I need be about you know if small sparks of the fire burns a little hole in it I could repair it with that temporarily have this little wooden H bracket that I cut and wrapped around it some brown polyester thread and I've crossed over a couple of needles there so if I need to do any cloven repairs I've got some thread for that. got a small file here for filing my axe to redo the edge. It would be great if I could bring my water stones out with me but obviously they're big and bulky and heavy so this does. And the last thing I've got in here yep, is my sharpening stone. Now this is a piece of kit that I've modified. I'm going to do a video separate about this so if you want to find out more about that you can watch that video. 
But that's basically it, that's all the stuff that I keep in my pouch. Some of it's gone. I don't carry birch bark anymore because again I can I can collect that on the go when I'm out. I haven't walked through a woodland yet that I haven't seen, you know, a dead birch tree lying on the floor. I'm yet to find a woodland. But yeah, what's that, like 10, 12 items? So folks, that's it. My new pouch, and I love it. It's awesome, strong, durable. Everything you need for out in the bush. But yeah, I suppose I'll leave it there. <laughs> but thanks again for stopping by folks. Really appreciate you doing so. All the support you show me, all the comments. If you haven't done so already, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.